Hey there. I'm a hard times guy. What you're looking at behind me is a little project I've been working on. Actually, it's a pretty big project. Been working on it all summer. It's the reason that I haven't uh, been putting out many videos. Been too busy with that thing. So I'm gonna take a little tour of it today. In that video we put out last week, it began with some footage from back in the spring when I was out behind here taking some uh, trusses down that had been on top of a building. And I think we left those uh, trusses leaning up against the barn out there. I'm not sure. I'm going get back to get back to something else today and talk about the project that I started with that stuff. So, let's go. Well, there it is. Not done yet, but it's all down. Now I just need to get it out of there. Need to get the nails cleaned up out of that stuff. I think I'll put it over there against the building about where them sawhorses are. Don't think I'll get that done today, but I might. Well, I still got some work to do here. Got to clean up this mess. Probably burn part of that stuff and probably salvage part of it. But there's my trusses. They're leaning up against the wall. Don't know what I'm going to do with them. But maybe I'll find something or maybe the next guy will. There's the trusses. That's where they, that's where I left them after and that spring day. They, they sat there for a good while and then I decided to do something with them and I started this project. There's that uh, old piece of a sliding door that's going to become a skylight. I cut those trusses off on that end, spliced them into that little barn. There's the new tin for the roof. I want to try to put new tin on it because I don't want to leak. There's one of the beams going up there and I just kind of had to walk them beams up there. Too heavy for me to just manhandle up there so I had to walk them up there one end and the other end. You can kind of see what the process was. Putting them up there and there it is up there in place on the outside. That actually was the easiest one because I could swing it out and over. How about them two girls? If that ain't a good looking pair of girls. Grandma Betty and little Lou. <laughs> the only reason you're seeing that is a lot of these pictures that we're getting ready to see now and I'm, I'm going to talk about with you come from uh, Betty's camera. She's out there taking pictures uh, during this project and let's just go with it and we'll talk about them. There's a picture of me, not too flattering, although uh, that 260 pound hard times guy that you saw in last week's video, he's down to about 245 now. Everything's headed the right way. Uh, and that's me, stand up there on them trusses. And Betty gets out there with her camera and sneaks around. She takes pictures of me and, and sends them to the kid and says, look what your dad's doing. And they gang up on me and try to tell me I can't do this and I can't do that. And uh, that's part of why I put that video out last week. I'm going to keep doing this kind of stuff. You know, I quit motorcycle racing when I was 27 years old and I've quit a lot of other things that I used to do that I can't do anymore. But I can still do this uh, and there's nothing dangerous about what I'm doing there. I'm, you know, I haven't done anything silly. i got a good hold on everything. I'm up there in the, in the trusses working on on this building. These are some pictures uh, taken later in the project. Uh, some of that stuff that you may have already seen or you may not, I don't know. This is, that's to Papaw John. He's over on top of the little barn and we got uh, Braxton and uh, Clayton and they're putting the roof up on this side over here and uh, 
I got and I asked John to come out here and help me with this, and he come out here with these two, and he just pretty much supervised them, let them do the work. Uh, you can see they just keep on keeping on. Well, if nothing else, those boys made some memories. I don't know whether they didn't get good instruction or somebody didn't do a good job. That roof uh, that they put on there is leaking a little bit in a couple of places. We'll have to get that figured out and fix it. Papa John, he, he enjoys seeing them boys work and he tries to get involved in things. And, well, I just, uh, I love all three of them. And I guess I can put up with whatever I have to, get a little help and give them a little experience. Glad I ain't paying them by the hour. These pictures here have gotten back to earlier in the project before them boys was out here. This is this the other side of the building, what I call it. It's the south side. It's got a... I got these pictures in here just to show you some of the things. When you're out here doing something like this by yourself, and they act like I'm, you know, doing a whole bunch of stuff that's hard and dangerous. It's not really hard and dangerous. It just... Sometimes it takes a while to get done. You have to do things in a kind of an unorthodox way. That this is showing that uh, uh, what you call it uh, skylight. It's it really what that is. An old uh, sliding door uh, window going up in position on this side, and uh, I couldn't lift it up there. It's too heavy for me. I put it on a ladder and I scooted it up there, and there it is going up the ladder. Uh, there's another picture of it where it was going up the ladder. There's a picture of it when it got up there and I had it tied off so it couldn't go anywhere. It got up there to a certain point. I couldn't do anything more with it. And uh, so I just left it there. And then Sunday, uh, some of my taller grandkids, they came over. And I don't have any pictures of that, but they uh, were bigger and stronger and taller and able to reach things without getting up on the ladders and stuff. We got that thing up there in position. Got it in there and got the roof belt around it. There's Braxton and Clayton. They're up there clowning for the camera. I don't know uh, whether Betty's taking them pictures or I am. Them boys are up here. They're having a good time. They're learning something. They're making memories. That's a chicken house right there. That was on the farm uh, over on the other side of Pinhook. Guy called me. I went over and tore it down. He gave me the material for tearing it down. That's what it looked like when I started. There's another view of it. There it is, the roof's off of it. That uh, had that good uh, tin, two foot wide tin roof on there. It's got a name, I can't remember what it is. It's got three grips and two panels in it. It's good for a lot of things. It was, that chicken house had that old kind of roof on it. Brett helped me do that. She took a lot of the material home. There's a picture of, that, I could probably tell from that picture there when I tore that chicken house down because that's that's Jackson right there with Betty and uh, I don't know he looks to be about two three years old and he's seven or eight now so it's been a while since I did that when I got done I just uh, had to haul everything off that I wanted and left what I didn't want made a burn pile for them they burned the rest of it right there there's uh, probably the last load I took home that's that's all that was uh, the roof and you can see that metal that metal's good for not only metal and roofing and uh, things that you use that kind of metal for siding, but uh, I found out that metal right there is good for making pie safe tins. And I made some awful attractive pie sand, tape sands out of that. And I made some uh, sunflower pie safe tins out of that. You've seen that and uh, the project that I made uh, out of that cherry cupboard I got from Clint. Those tents were made from pieces of this chicken house roof. There's a sign. I painted that yesterday. I got to put some stain on it and do some more work on it before it goes up on that building. But you can see I'm preparing to put it up there below that chicken. Got some more work to do on him too. That's actually a rooster. And uh, that rooster right there is going to hang up there where I got that white background painted. That white's a little too bright. I'm going to do something with it too. This building here uh, used to be my 
dog kennel house and uh, dog kennels over on the other side of it running east and west and that building right there uh, there used to be a chicken house right there where that building is. That's uh, originally what happened here. I'm getting into history now, and I'm, I'm going to do that after I finish the project. So uh, let's just stick with the project today. That building right there is a it's a typical storage barn. Been sitting there a while. Let's walk around here. That side of it right there, I'm eventually going to paint that red. And when I do, I'm going to paint the Coca-Cola sign on the side of it. Uh, just coca-cola or drink coca-cola something like that and uh, That's all I'm going to do Here on this building on this side But for this project's over back here on this back side I'm going to paint this end of it uh, black and I'm going to put uh, Mail pass tobacco sign on the end of that little barn there where it's uh, right now it's kind of an off-white beige color. I'm going to paint it black, put the mail pass tobacco sign on it. Over here where you can see I've attached to that building, uh, that's an old hard times door. That's one of the first ones I ever painted with my logo on it. And I did that when I uh, set up a booth uh, up at what used to be the pool hall on 15th Street. I had a booth in the window there for a little while. My good friend uh, John Duggar, he passed uh, from COVID uh, a few months ago, but he used to own the pool hall there. And, uh, he and I had a little deal where I put antiques for sale in that window, and I made that door right there to isolate that booth from the patrons of the pool room. And uh, later on, that door and another one you're going to see here in a minute uh, ended up be in the corner of my booth down at the White River uh, Antique Mall. This end here is going to be uh, mostly barn lumber. Probably going to put uh, metal up there like I did on the other end though. Over on this side uh, much the same thing. I used those uh, trusses from a previous project, and you'll hear about that either in this video or uh, in the fi in the final video when I give the history of what happened here. Uh, those trusses, I, I built those at another time and for another project, and uh, they ended up being uh, had a situation where I had to take them down and I had them leaned up against the barn and I envisioned this project and I brought them over here but they they weren't the right size for a project like this so I had to cantilever them out there and make kind of an overhang or a porch on this end I just kind of do things as the material I got dictates it uh, underneath those boards and I'm not going to take them down because you can see it uh, you've probably seen it before that's the uh, that's another hard times door and that one was uh the one I mentioned a while ago that was a cornerstone in my booth down to White River Arts and Antiques. I was aiming to make a sliding uh, door out of it, but didn't work out for me, and so it's it's on hinges. But it'll be the door into that building when I get when I get finished with this project. Don't know exactly what I'm going to do there. Everything I do just kind of uh, materializes as I go along. This is. In projects like this now I usually have little projects this is my last this by the way I think is my last big project this things already lasted way way longer than I wanted it to uh, I'm getting too old for this so I'm gonna call this my last big project but who knows uh, along with uh, other things that I've done when I got old was I've gotten foolish too so I'm going to call this my last big project and I hope that it is. I'm going to go back to little projects like the ones that I usually uh, do to satisfy the need I had to create something, the artistic side of me. That gives you an idea about the project and what's been going on all summer and kind of the magnitude of what I've undertaken here. Hope to get it done by second weekend in September because the Country Neighbors Tour is having a Country Neighbors Tour weekend that 
I think it's the 9th and 10th or 10th and 11th of September, whatever Friday and Saturday that week is. And I want this done by then so I can have the barn open uh, the weekend that they have the Country Neighbors Tour Fall event. So, don't know whether I'm going to make it or not, but that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been trying to get done. Uh, when I do get it done, I'm going to make another video to show you uh, what it looked like when I got it done. How everything turned out. Right now, it's still there's still a lot of work to do. Still uh, nowhere close to being where I want it to be. And bear with me, though. We're going to get there. And one of these days, we'll be done with this project and uh, on to the next one. Hope it's a smaller one next time. I'm a hard time, Sky. You have a good day.